And good evening. The first probable case of monkeypox here in Kern County was reported over the weekend. Kern Public Health saying the person is in isolation and recovering at home tonight. 23 ABC's Vanya Patino spoke with the Division Director of Health Services at Kern County and has the latest guidance plus look at the expansion of testing across the country. Vanya. Is right, Achille and Mark. Well, monkeypox cases have been increasing in the U.S. since the first case was reported in Massachusetts back in May. But despite this very recent uh, surge in this very rare disease, public health says that the risk to the general public is still very low. So this is our first case in Kern County. We've had several that have been suspected, that have been evaluated, that have been tested. You know, we continue to get calls pretty regularly. Um, we know throughout the state of California, cases continue to increase, like it, um, including in our, our neighboring counties. Now, although it has been confirmed the case reported is from a Kern County resident, it is unknown if the person recently traveled out of the county. But Kern Public Health says it is conducting contract tracing for more potential exposures. Those exposures usually coming from close person-to-person -person contact. And because testing is limited and only done through a swab sent to a lab, it is important to check in with your medical provider if you have any of the symptoms characteristic symptom of monkeypox is a rash. It's a very specific type of rash um, that doesn't look like other rashes that you might find. Um, but people can also experience those flu-like symptoms, a headache, a fever, um, chills, body aches. Um, but it's usually that rash that drives people into the healthcare provider. She adds to also check in with your doctor beforehand to make sure they have the testing capability. And because that is a growing issue, the CDC announced Mayo Clinics have begun nationwide testing, expecting to be able to perform up to 10,000 tests per week. In a statement to the director of the CDC, Dr. Rochelle Walensky, saying, quote, this will not only increase testing capacity, but also make it more convenient for providers and patients to access tests by using existing provider to laboratory networks, end quote. In addition to the increase in testing, there are two vaccines available originally made for smallpox, with access likely to be expanded as more cases are reported.